So in, in a concussion, a good example to think of is the yolk in an egg. And you don't even need to hit your head. You can take a blow to the chest, but it's that yolk shaking within the skull. And it's a contusion and damage to the surface of the brain. So like I said, you don't need to hit your head. You do not need to have a loss of consciousness. Um, in most cases, CAT scans and MRIs are normal. Um, yet it affects the entire brain. Yet the MRI and the CT scan are not sensitive enough to detect it. We're getting very close in the near future that we'll have a blood test that when there is an injury to the brain, the neurons die, they release some proteins, and we can identify those proteins in the blood. And that would be an objective test to diagnose a concussion. In addition to that, we're coming up with better brain scans now that are inexpensive, readily accessible, that will be the size of a smartphone in the future that we could detect changes in the brain following a concussion.